There's a there's a story that we heard from uh, one of the folks down there about going down to Texas. Oh, and, um, oh that was great. That, the there's sun. another story I, I, I forgot about that one. That was probably one of the uh, the, 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 the Coupe de Ville uh, things that Leahy ever uh, put across on another opposing coach. Um, we had just this is in '52. We had just uh, tied Pennsylvania and, and Franklin Field in Philadelphia, seven to seven. You know, they they eventually became the Ivy League champs, and they had a good team, but. You know, tie in the Ivy League, Notre Dame. That was, and then the next week, we're going down to play Austin, and in Austin, playing the University of Texas, which was uh, preseason number one pick to win the national championship. And they had just won a big victory, of 48 to nothing over a team. And we took off from South Bend uh, on a Friday night, well, Friday afternoon. We didn't get down to uh, Austin, Texas till about 11 o'clock Friday night. And as we got off the plane, we were greeted by 5,000 people. They weren't Notre Dame fans. They were all for University of Texas. They wanted to see what we were like, and they paraded around our hotel the whole night, just shouting, you know, down with Notre Dame, and trying to keep us awake. You know, it did some jab, but most of it fell asleep. Anyways, the next day, it was 103 on the field. So Leahy went over to Dana Bible, who was the athletic director, and he says, uh, "Mr. Bible." You know, we just tied Pennsylvania. We want to give you a good game. You know, we want to. You know, we want to show the people uh, that we can play good. But you know, it's, it doesn't look like we can beat your, your team. Your, your, your team is so stronger than ours. Could you do me a favor? He, and Bible said, "Well, what is it, coach?" He said, "Well, can we sit on the same side of the field as as the Texas team because then the sun will be in our back and and, and we won't be facing the sun all afternoon." And uh, and the Bible said, well, I think that could be arranged. And he said, one other, could we sit to the left of the Texas team? You know, uh, and he said, well, I guess that could be arranged. Well, the outcome was Texas' uh, first half was beating us three to nothing. And, and as the second half uh, starts and progresses, the sun starts settling in the west. And right where, uh, about the middle of the third quarter, the, the, the sun was in the press box and it was giving us shade. And, and, and the Texas team was in the sun. And Leahy knew this. He knew at that exact time where the shade would be, and we were in the shade. Well, we beat them 14-3 to because they tired out. And we were in the shade for the whole last quarter where the, uh, the Texas team was most uh, basically in the sun. And I, all I can remember is Eddie Price, who was a coach, just looking at Lay. Uh, he said a few words I wouldn't want to re repeat on television, but he was very disturbed with what, you know, what, what Leahy pulled on him. Yeah.